once again a good question interesting question tough question let's have a look at this fine what is the sum of 7 by 1 plus 26 by 2 plus 63 by 3 plus 124 by 4 and so on adding 7 plus 13 plus 21 plus 31 plus 43 plus 57 plus 73 19 times if you've been given this sequence it would be very tough to figure out what you're talking about but this sequence is that little bit easier so the denominator is very simple it just keeps going up by one it's easy to gauge 7 26 63 124 215 what is feature sum about about these think about this add one what is feature sum about 8 27 64 125 216 this is 2 cube, 3 cube, 4 cube, 5 cube, 6 cube, and so on. So, what is the sequence? This is 2 cube minus 1 by 1, 3 cube minus 1 by 2, 4 cube minus 1 by 3, all the way for 19 terms. Are written differently. This is 2 cube minus 1 by 2 minus 1, 3 cube minus 1 by 3 minus 1, 4 cube minus 1 by 4 minus 1, and so on. That is a cube minus 1 by a minus 1 or a minus 1 into a square plus a plus 1 by a minus 1 that is a square plus a plus 1 is each term starting from 2 to 20 critical point here the first value of a is 2 19 terms so the last value is 20 so we are actually going to do finally this is going to become sigma m square sigma n sigma 1 when we do this we add all squares from 1 square to 20 square when we do this all squares from 1 to 20 all from 1 to 20 which we have to do from 2 to 20 so substitute the formula from 1 to 20 and then eliminate that first term it's a critical point so we're going to do n into n plus 1 into 2 n plus 1 by 6 and then leave out that first term n to n plus 1 by 2 leave out the first term plus n and leave out the first term Effectively, all three will have a minus one, minus one, minus one. It's a minus three sitting here. But in these expressions, substitute n equal to 20, you get this value. I'm not doing the arithmetic substitution part. That is very simple. The funda is important. Break all of these questions, break them down with a general term. Once you get the general term, write it in terms of n cube, n square, n, and plug in the summation formula. Just be careful about the detail. Am I, am I leaving out the first term? Am I counting all squares from 1 square to 20 square? Am I leaving out some term in between? Am I leaving out odd terms, even terms? All that detail is very critical. So please don't gloss over that detail. Very vital to keep the detail in mind.